This is where most red light therapy brands drop the ball or just don't explain it well. If you want results, you've got to match what the clinical research says to your protocol. So let's break it down. Here's what real PubMed studies show us. Hamblin 2012 for reference, the nuts and bolts of low level laser therapy. Ideal radiance ranges are between 10 and 50 milliwatts per centimeter squared. It's actually between 28 and 34 in a lot of them. It also warns about overdosing due to something called the biphasic dose response. Translation, more is not better. In fact, too much intensity can actually reduce the beneficial effects. Huang et al. 2009 for reference, biphasic dose response in low level light therapy. The radiance range used, again, 25 to 35 milliwatts a centimeter squared. Dosing, three to eight joules per square centimeter per session. Results, significant improvements in tissue repair, circulation, and inflammatory markers. DeMarkey of 2022, systematic review on PBMT for muscle fatigue. Studies showed great results with just 20 to 30 milliwatts a centimeter squared for only 10 to 20 minutes per treatment. Consistent improvements in muscle recovery, energy output, and fatigue reduction. So what does this mean for you? Target range for you is 20 to 50 milliwatts a centimeter square for intensity. Sit or stand six to 12 inches from your device to match what most of the studies use. Use it for 10 to 20 minutes per body area. If using a spot treatment, obviously allocate for full body coverage uh, sessions separately. Aim for a total dose of four to eight joules per square centimeter. Most people, including myself, have been overdoing it, especially with high powered panels at close range. You just don't need it, according to the science.